Hi everybody, this is Peter from Boy Scouts. I've gotten a lot of feedback and questions lately regarding uh, how do, how do uh, you log in to uh, take youth protection training. And so uh, to make it useful for, for you guys and to make it a more efficient process, I thought I might kind of give you a demonstration on how to do that and, and kind of lead you in that direction. Um, so just a couple things, just kind of as a background, you have to have a myscouting.org account in order to take your youth protection training. Uh, if you don't uh, have that account, there, there's not a way in order for you to access it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, just a couple things. One, uh, make sure if you're using a browser that it is Internet Explorer or it is uh, Safari. If you use Google Chrome, you can, but it causes some, some uh, issues for some reason. I was noticing there were some glitches involved, especially in the registration portion of myscouting.org. So make sure you, you kind of stick with those browsers instead of using Google, Google Chrome. I like Google Chrome. It's one of my favorite browsers, but unfortunately, I don't think myscouting.org uh, supports it for some reason. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in youth protection training. Once you do that, it's going to pop up usually at the top of the page. You're going to click on this heading that says Youth Protection Training, Boy Scouts of America, very official. And it will take you to this page. Once you get here, you're going to go to the right hand side of the page. And up towards the top, you're going to see a blue link that says myscouting.org. You're going to click on that. And it's going to take you to uh, this page, which will either ask you to sign into myscouting.org or create a new account. We are assuming you're a new member. This is the first time, your first introduction into scouting, and you've never, you don't, you're not really sure on how to how to go through this process. So, um, for our purposes today, we're going to create a new account. So we're going to click on that, and the first step is create a new username. So follow the directions on the right-hand side, but in order, uh, we're just going to create a, a fake username for our purposes today. Let's see if this takes. Looks like it does. It might take you a couple tries. Once you do that, you're going to click Next. You're going to click Next again, assuming you are a new member. And then we're taken to the registration page. Just a cu couple things to note about this page. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, your username is already uh, inputted in the field. Uh, a lot of people tend to forget selecting their state. Uh, so make sure you, you put that information in. Uh, in our case cases, it, it would be California. And make sure to uh, put in the verification code exactly how it's shown. It is case sensitive, meaning that you know, make sure to capitalize or lowercase certain letters if you're typing uh, this code in. Once you do that, you're going to go to create a new create user or create a new user account. There are two areas that I will not show you how to do, but they're very self-explanatory and straightforward. Right after you cl uh, click on create user, will take you to um, a new page that will prompt you for uh, two uh, sets of security questions. And then after that, the next page will prompt you to register. Once you register and click on that link, uh, it will send an email to your inbox, whichever uh, email address uh, that you inputted on this page. So for our purposes, I'm just going to go to Yahoo. And this is, this is what, what it looks like, which you would get in your email says your my my scouting account has been created please click the following link to activate your account uh, so you're going to click on that link and it's going to prompt you to create a password again follow the steps on the right hand side uh, but uh, you can just uh, create your new password confirm the new password and then create your password so pretty redundant um, but just make sure to to do that um, once you've uh, done that this is going to take you back to uh, the myscouting.org page. If it doesn't, you can just type this in the top, which I'm doing right now. So myscouting.org takes us back uh, to our original page. And now, since we have our username and password, we are going to type these in to sign into to myscouting.
Okay, great. So we put that in. Hopefully this is right. We'll sign in. Good. Okay. So now it takes us to our My Scouting page. Again, there's a lot of information and content on here. Uh, you could spend all day going through it, but for our purposes today, uh, you need to take the youth protection training. And so what you'll need to do is just click on Take Youth Protection Training. Click here. And that will take you to the e-learning page. Once you get to the e-learning page, you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on Take Course. Once you click on Take Course, it's going to pull up uh, the, the video uh, player for you to watch your youth protection training and, and, uh, and go through the process. Just a couple things. The youth protection training is, is pretty straightforward. It usually takes 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how long, uh, how, how many breaks you have in between. Uh, but it's, it's really useful information um, and insightful. Also, uh, once you've completed your youth protection training, make sure to get the um, access code. or there's a, there's a code that a register will give you uh, at the council office, which is open from 10 to 5, Tuesday through Friday. And she will give, that, give you that code in order for you to print out your certificate. Um, the certificate will actually show up here under youth protection training once you've taken it. And that certificate needs to be either emailed to the council office or the physical copy needs to be added to your file. And we have to have that in order for you to be um, registered and, and uh, have completed the training. And that's about it. That's all there is to it. I'm just going to click on this so you can see what it looks like. Youth protection training will come up just like this, and then you can kind of progress from there. Um, it's, it's really good training to have under your belt. Um, so just make sure to... Uh, take that. If you have any questions, you can always let us know. I, hopefully this was helpful and it kind of gave you, gives you an idea of how to get to where you need to, to go uh, in order to, to take the YPT training. And that's all I have. Have a great day. Bye.